Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to design a sheet metal toolbox in Inventor. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and leave a comment for any video request. Thanks for watching. So we're going to start a new drawing. We're going to go sheet metal, we'll just select something already pre-made, create. We're going to go to sheet metal default. We're going to edit. Change the material to steel, mild, we'll go thickness 1.2, then we're going to go up to the bend, we're going to change the bend radius to 0 0.01, the relief shape will be tear, and the corner relief shape will be also be tear, save and close. Now we're going to start a sketch, we're going to draw the bottom profile, the overall size of the toolbox. We're going to go two point center rectangle. We're going to go 200 by 500. Enter. And finish sketch. Now we're going to select face, apply. Now we're going to add some flanges. We're going to go these two. We're going to come up 100 millimeters. And we'll select bend outside of reference plane. And then hit apply. Now we're going to go these. Distance 12. The same, we want the same one outside of reference plane. Corner will go cap size 0.8. And the same for the opposite. Going to add a flange here. We're going to go 12 mil. But we're going to select here. We're going to go width 497. Didn't work. go flange, select it, more options, then we'll go offset, we'll change it to 1.5 and this one to 1.5 and then apply, same for this one, apply. Now we can select over here, hem, and we're going to select the bottom, we'll go the length, we'll go 8mm, apply, the same for this side, apply. So that's the body done. Save it, so file, save as, now we'll go create uh, the sides, we're going to go file, new, create, we're going to change the defaults again, edit, material, steel mild, Thickness is 1.2, bend 0 0.01, save and close. Now we're going to start a sketch, we'll select the side plane, rectangle, and we 
going to go 200 by 225. Finish your sketch. And then add a face to it. Apply. Now we're going to right click the face, go new sketch. Draw a line up here, say 40 mil. And then just a line across here. Mention it, 100 mil, and then we'll constrain the center of this to the center line, and then the horizontal to the over. Now we're just going to fill in these points. rid of these finish your sketch and now select cut select your two cutouts go the thickness and OK now we're going to add some flanges select more options we're going to change it to uh, offset and change that to zero and then this one to we'll go th this one zero and then the top one will go 15 and we're going to change the angle to 180 so it folds all the way over we're going to change the length to let's go 10 mil Same for this one, but we're going to change these two around. So this one will be zero, this one will be 15. Apply, and then the top one we're going to change them both to 15 and apply. Now we're just going to select um, the corner seam button. We're going to select our corners, that and that. Change your gap size to whatever you want. Go one mil. Apply. Select these two and apply. Try cut these out. New sketch. From that point to that point. That point. To there. And X to trim out the middle, and then finish your sketch. Then go cut, select the two, cut normal, OK. Go edit, we'll go to cancel, we'll go cut, cut across bend, select the two, and OK. Select mirror, select your cut, YZ plane, OK. Now we'll save this. Now we can go file, new. And then we're going to create a new assembly. So standard millimeters, create. Right click over here and 
place component. And select both of them. Now we're gonna come up here, select mirror, select your part, your XY plane, and then next. Okay. Now we're gonna select our constraints, mate, the face of this. Maybe on the other side, sorry. So constraint mate this to that, apply, and then mate the bottom of that to the bottom of the apply, and then again the end of this to the inside of there, apply. Now repeat the same for the other side, so the inside, at the outside, to the inside, apply, the edge, to the inside, apply, and the edge of that, to the bottom of the inside, apply. That's that. Gonna save this to the file. Ah. File, save as. Now we can create the the handle. Press M to measure, go from the inside of that to the inside of that, 497.6, go file, new, sheet metal defaults, we'll just change them again, thickness 1.2, Material, steel, mild, and the bend radius 0 0.01. Save and close. Now we're going to start a sketch. Go to the bottom, the XY plane. And I'm going to do the size, so two point center. Go 40 by 20, what it was. So M for measure 197.6 by 40. Four ninety seven point six by forty. Enter and then finish the sketch. Now we're going to add the face to it, apply. Now we're just going to add the flanges here and here. So twenty five mil, apply. Then the inside ones, 
make them um, 10. Apply. Go to the opposite end. Apply. Now you can just add the add the hem. So we'll go again for length. We'll go eight mil. Apply. And the other side. Apply. Go to file. Save as. Save, come back to your assembly, right click, place component, go handle, open, place it anywhere. Now we're just going to constrain it. So we're going to go mate, the end of that to the inside of this, apply. Go to the bottom of that fold. To the top of that, apply. Now we're just going to go select show. We're going to click on the part and then right click here, edit. We'll offset it 10 mil. OK. Yeah. 